Hello and welcome to the Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can calculate rank in Power BI table and in this video we will calculate or we will create rank but without the rank function so that is something I want to show you pretty interesting right so I want to show you how you can do that because in the front end you can create a new measure using the rank but here we are in a data table and we want to create a column where the rank is present for let's say sales or profit or any of the measure of our interest so before i do that or show you just a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel that this uh, google sheet where i keep all of my power bi related videos you can come over here using the link which is present in the description so you can come over here search any of my previously posted video as i am keeping it up to date and jump to that tutorial present uh, using the link present in column b that way you can keep it as a bookmark so whenever you need anything you can you can basically search it here or google let's say if you don't find it over here but whole idea is that i keep all of my videos at one single place so that for you user experience will be better also i am keeping exercises related video in this so if you are interested in doing exercises which is from the workoutbrightness.com then you can come over here okay with that information let me go to the power bi so here i am within the power bi and i am using the sample superstore data set which is nothing but very simple uh, data set related to the sales where you have the order ship date sec the the segment of a customer who is the customer so on and so forth right and in the end you know i have the sales rank if you see uh, this is the highest value so right now it is sorted as you can see in the ascending so that means the first rank is coming first so 22 636 then you have 17500 then you have 14,000 and all. So how you can calculate this sales rank is something what I want to show you or I can even calculate on profit, right? So right now I have calculated it on sales rank or on the sales column, but how you can calculate it on the um, profit, right? So for that, what I can do is I select this and uh, you need to click on the new column. So once you click on the new column, you need to say profit rank and starting with the count rows that's the key over here count rows and then say filter within filter you need to specify the table table is this and then you say earlier what you have is the profit right superstore profit close it less than equals to superstore Sorry, let me just call it profit. That will be easy. Superstore profit, right? And close this and close this, right? So once you do that, you will have a new column called profit rank and your profit rank is this. Now the interesting part, if you see over here, even though your sales rank is first, but your profit rank is 28, right? But in this case, the sales rank is two, but the profit rank is one. So on and so forth so this will open up a whole new lot of possibilities like for example this sales rank is 3 23 but profit rank is 270 so if you want you can even sort this so click over here say sort ascending so you can see one two three and all that but then what is the sales rank right so whole idea is that uh, you know you should be able to create rank within the table itself so that when you go into the front end you can directly use the rank but just be aware as to how you are using it uh, uh, the sales rank because if you don't use it properly it may produce incorrect values or incorrect uh, output but my objective was that i want to show you how you can calculate this so it depends on the scenario you are trying to solve this should help you creating rank within the uh, table, data table of Power BI and without the rank function, right? So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.